Good morning everyone! So for today's video, I'm going to go over my PRK procedure. I recently had my vision corrected and I wanted to talk to you guys about my experience, my results, kind of. It's been a week as of yesterday since my procedure, so I wanted to talk to you guys about this while everything was fresh in my mind. So I could talk to you guys about like the sensation, the healing process, what it felt like. So without much further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So now of course it is time for the disclaimer part of the video. Number one, I'm obviously not at home. I'm actually in Korea. I am staying at a hotel called Hotel Cappuccino in Gangnam. And yeah, so that's why I'm not at home. Also it's raining so you have to excuse the like rain noise if you're hearing that and excuse the lighting because obviously it's difficult to film when you don't have control of your environment. I am also not a doctor in case you're wondering. So this is not necessarily going to be a video telling you guys like the difference between PRK or LASIK or exactly what PRK is. It's basically I'm going to be talking about my experience. If you want the scientific and the facts, the information about that, you're better off looking it up or consulting with a professional, but this is more of an experience type of video. So going back to my vision, I always had really bad eyes. I started wearing glasses probably when I was like seven or eight years old, and then I switched to contacts during the daytime when I was about 12 to 13, so I've always had some type of corrective aid for my eyes since a very young age. I had negative 4.5 in my right eye and negative 4.75 in my left eye. So basically I needed my glasses or contacts at all times of the day, however I was just getting to the point where I was just so annoyed by them. I so of course step number two when it came to my decision making when it came to getting my vision corrected was who was I going to? I actually went to Dr. Musa who is located in Brea, California and I went to him because both my parents went to him, had great results, highly recommended him so obviously my parents were but who recommended me and I trust my parents so I went to Dr. Moose's office. The consultation was free. In case you're wondering also I did pay for this procedure out of pocket. Dr. Musa and his office has no idea that I'm making this video. So the consultation was super straightforward and easy. You know they do eye tests, they measure, I don't know what they measure, but they do all kinds of stuff where they're measuring your eyes, you know, they have to dilate your pupils, look into it, make sure that your eyes are safe and healthy for the procedure, and that's when they kind of tell you, obviously, the pricing, that kind of stuff, and also what procedure you will need because obviously there's different procedures people need for their different eye concerns, whether you have like monovision or you need PRK like me, or you can go with a traditional LASIK. Now as far as the cost of the procedure, I would say I spent about $3,200 on everything, and that's including the drops, prescription, medication, and the procedure itself. So it was actually $2,900 for the PRK, and then I just kind of say I probably spent like $300 on medication and eye drops all that kind of other stuff that I needed regarding my eyes. Had I gotten LASIK, I was quoted 2500 Now the reason that I was quoted two different prices at my consultation was because they weren't sure if I was gonna need PRK or LASIK until the day of the procedure. So just to go back and break that down because I did get off on a tangent there, it's 2500 for LASIK, 2900 for PRK. Those were the two prices I was given. Normally at their offices, it's 3500 for LASIK and 3900 for PRK. But it just so happened that the day I went in or the the time period that I went in, they had a promotion of $1,000 off the traditional LASIK PRK type of procedure. So I got $1,000 off. Now fast forward a couple weeks, about the two week mark until my procedure, that's when I started wearing my glasses full time. I switched out of my contacts, threw those away because I knew I wouldn't be needing those anymore and I wore glasses up until my procedure. So of course I go in day of, they run the test over again and they tell me that I need PRK. My doctor said it was something like I have irregularities or regular eyes. I wasn't surprised because I know my eyes are a, like a handful but so I need PRK and that was kind of a blessing in disguise that I went in not necessarily knowing I was gonna get PRK because had I researched it I might have freaked myself out even more so before I get into the process and the recovery let me throw this out there because it's going to get kind of intense I am so happy that I did this I do not regret it one bit at least at this point if you know you are the type of person that easily gets psyched out maybe you should just trust your doctor and not look into it too much because I know with these kinds of things you hear about it, you start to overanalyze, overthink it, and then you just don't get it done. And that is not the point of this video. This video is simply just to be honest and real, tell you guys how my experience was, what I felt, so you can compare if you're healing from PRK, if it's similar, or if you're experiencing the same things, or if you're planning on getting PRK, you can kind of get a heads up. But again, don't let this intimidate you or talk you out of getting something that you want to do or you might need. Again, 
I'm not a professional, definitely trust your doctor and go to a reputable doctor. So the procedure itself was pretty fast. I would say I was laying there for max 10 minutes. I'm not gonna lie, it was a little scary when I was underneath the laser and I could feel the doctor kind of swabbing my eye. I'm not really sure what he was doing. I'm sure you can also look up videos on YouTube. I don't recommend that. I didn't do that because again, I think that would have freaked me out. But I didn't feel any pain the whole procedure. It was just kind of, it's, it's just a feeling you're not used to and you just feel pressure. So it's not painful at all. He then placed, I want to call them lens band-aids. I don't know what the technical term for them is, but it's basically like a prescription less contact lens. So it acts as a protector so you don't get infections or anything like that. And it gives your eye the opportunity to heal. When I got out, I was kind of um, out of it a little bit because my eyes were a little discombobulated. Like I could see clear, which was awesome, but it was still a little blurry and my eyes were kind of watery. Day of procedure, you have to have someone drive you there and home because you are in no way, shape, or form able hey to you guys, drive. I am out on my <laughs> PRK procedure. I actually ended up not getting LASIK. I had to get the PRK, but I wanted to show you guys, share with you guys my feelings right after the fact. I was maybe in there for, how long would you say I was in there for like 10 minutes? Not even. I don't even feel like I was in there for 10 minutes. Okay, well I was in there for 10 minutes and I'm not gonna lie, it was really uncomfortable and kind of horrifying at certain times, but yeah. So I'm supposed to be experiencing a decent amount of pain for the next couple days. I'm not really sure how that's gonna go, but I've got these shields that are taped on my eye, which I'm supposed to wear until tomorrow. And then I'm also supposed to wear these at night when I sleep. And then these sunglasses on top are obviously to protect my, my eyes from the sun. So pain level. Not really feeling that much pain. Um, it just feels like my eyes are heavy. Like I, I just want to go home and sleep. So. Good morning. Okay, so it is the day after my PRK procedure. Um, I just took the eye shields off my eye because they said I could take them off after I slept with these for a night, and then I'm gonna have to sleep with these every night for two weeks, which is fine. Um, but so far, how I'm feeling, I'm not feeling a ton of pain. Actually, if you're a contact wearer, what it feels like is. Um, you know the sensation when you have your contact and it's dry and you wake up from a nap and you like it's kind of like it feels like it's stuck on your eye that kind of like irritation from your contact that's kind of what it feels like so it's nothing unbearable can't see much um, it's better than without my glasses before it's like better than my natural vision but it's still not as good as when I'm wearing my glasses I slept pretty good yesterday um, I actually what's so funny I fell asleep in the car after I made that little video yesterday I was like I'm feeling good like <laughs> this is great and then I just like knocked out in the car and I don't remember falling asleep and then I woke up my boyfriend woke me up and it was like oh my god where am I <laughs> but I am going to my follow-up appointment right now so should be good hopefully it's a good bill of health and yeah, I will check in with you guys whenever something changes. I went in the next day for my follow-up and my doctor said I was doing good. Everything was going as planned and I went home. So I was feeling really good. Again, kept up with my drops and my painkillers. Well, then the pain and the swelling set in. So I will also insert some pictures here so you guys can see what I'm talking okay. about. Okay, <laughs> I look crazy, but a little update. Um, I'm definitely experiencing a bit more pain than I was earlier in the day. It's about mm, seven, eight hours since I last checked in, but my eyes are definitely feeling a little bit more painful. They're pretty swollen, if you can't tell. I have my eye shields on just in case I fall asleep so that I don't bump them, but I mean, still I would say it's about a six and a half, seven out of ten. Like, it's not unbearable. It's just like, you can't really do much. So don't plan on doing anything if you get... PRK. But yeah, I just want to check in because I think earlier I was a little bit like, ah, it doesn't hurt whatsoever. Well, now it's hurting a little bit, so. Okay, I'm going to make this quick because I can't really talk because as you guys can see, I can't really open my eyes for that long because um, it hurts and I'm tearing up, so sorry. I'm not actually crying. Um, it's just my eyes are super teary and super swollen now at this point. Um, I think the pain is probably like a 7 or 8 out of 10. It's not the worst pain I've experienced, but it's definitely uncomfortable, um, mainly because it's like your face and something you have to use, which is your eyes. So it's obviously a lot more apparent to me. Um, 
I'm also a little congested because I've been laying down for so long for the past couple days and also the drops in my eyes feel like they've been draining down my nasal passage a little bit. So I'm gonna sit up, I think, for as much as I can today to try and let everything drain down. One thing though that like makes me feel better is that I know this isn't gonna last forever. Like realistically, the pain should only last for another day or two if, at the most. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be feeling a lot better, but you know, today is just gonna be another day where I'm just gonna have to chill out, relax, listen to some TV. <laughs> um, so just keep in mind if you're planning on doing this that you might have to plan for not doing anything for the next couple days. But yeah, I just want to update you guys because as you guys can see, I've been really swollen and I want to show you guys step by step as to how this is, what is probably normal or hopefully normal, hopefully I'm normal, um, and kind of the process. Because I feel like everyone just does LASIK or PRK and then they're like, yeah, it was painful for a couple days, it really hurt for a couple days and they don't show you like the swelling, swollen eyes. My face is pretty much swollen the tearing, all that kind of stuff. So I'm trying to show you guys everything. But yeah, I'll check in with you guys later. So that was not fun and you probably saw it on my social media if you were keeping up with that. Me kind of checking in and telling you guys that it was painful, so. <laughs> okay, sorry about this. It's a different day, but I was editing this video and I realized that it cut out what I was basically saying. Monday, I was feeling good. I actually got some work done, did some light filming and editing. Tuesday is when I had a little mishap. So Tuesday during the day, feeling good, feeling great, continuing with my eye drops. But unfortunately, what happened at night when I was sleeping is that my eyes, I guess, got really dry while I was sleeping. And I still had to wear those band-aid contact lens. And I must have moved my eyes when I was sleeping. And if you've ever had like a dry contact or you slept with your contact, you kind of know that feeling of it, the drag because it's not moving around on your eyeball because your eyes aren't necessarily moist. So it basically kind of like dragged on my eye and both my eyes. And I was sleeping, it was like two in the morning. I ran to the bathroom, was like putting lubricating drops in my eyes to kind of like soothe my eyes. But it was so painful, I almost passed out. Then I almost vomited. And then I had to lay on the tile so I wouldn't pass out, broke into a cold sweat, and it was just a really bad experience. And I know this is not common, so don't get too intimidated by this, but again, I'm telling you guys kind of like the truth, the ugly, my experience going through it, and it was, that part was probably the worst part. And I went in the next morning to have him look at my eyes. He said that the Band-Aid lens, both of them had kind of like dried on my eyes as I was sleeping. My left eye was good, my right eye had an impression left from the contact lens and the surface. I think he said like the healing tissue, some of it had kind of tore. So that's why I experienced that much pain. So he said that he was going to remove them and that for the next 24 hours, I was to put a lot of lubricating drops in my eyes to keep my eyes moist because basically that healing tissue, that new cell growth is like very fragile tissue so anything can kind of disrupt it. That's why the contact lens is in there to protect that growth. So even your eyelid, if your eyes get dry, blinking can kind of mess with that healing tissue. So that's why lubricating my eyes was so important over the next 24 hours. And so I did that, didn't experience pain like that. And here I am. So for the past couple days since then, my eyes have been great. They definitely felt dry, but to be honest, my eyes are always dry, so I'm not experiencing any more dryness than I would with my contacts. So I'm feeling really good. Um, my vision is probably about like 90% there. I can see pretty clearly. There's some fuzziness obviously when I wake up in the morning or if I get tired at night. And seeing far away, like things are not crystal clear but i'm very optimistic and confident that my vision will improve so yeah that's pretty much where i'm at right now and again i can make another video in a couple weeks or a couple months if you guys have any more questions for me or if you guys want me to talk about how my final vision is because like i just mentioned i'm not quite there yet i'm about 90 percent there i'd say and i still have drops that i'm doing consistently and regularly and i also wanted to say thank you guys so much for being so supportive and your kind words on social media meant the world to me i was reading some of the comments on my instagram and you guys were saying things like oh i had the same procedure done it's painful but it's so worth it so hearing your guys' stories and your kind wishes was definitely something that helped get me through the rough days. As always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy and don't forget to read, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.